Hello everyone and welcome back finally to a little bit of Resident Evil 7. Um, I'm aware that this video is a little bit late and that's mainly because I was avoiding doing this because um, Resident Evil has seen fit to have a fuck off. Fuck off and um, have a massive jump in difficulty, which has led to this being, well, let's just say more of a, you know, more of a chore than I, I believed that it would be. Even when taking into account the fact that I am, yes, playing on fucking uh, Madhouse difficulty, which, yeah, sure, difficult, blah, 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 still, I don't know. Target acquired. You're scaring the little girl. Scaring the little girl. And now we're gonna have a motherfucker come from the ceiling. We shank, we shank, we shank, and we run away. And we shoot. And we scoot. Oh, wonderful. Okay, yeah. Well, this seems to be going slightly better with the the knife tactic, but still, it's it's not really like it's not very pleasant to say the least. Okay, let's. Okay, okay, things are still kind of okay. Mm. Right, sorry about that. Uh, you might have caught the tail end of my cough, but hopefully not. Hopefully I managed to mute myself. Yes, as unfortunate as it is, I am still kind of dealing with um, my man flu. So let's just, you know, let's let's take this thing slow, steady. We'll we'll try to get through. I, I'd hate to think that this, like this far into the game, like this would be where I'm. Just gonna have to. Are you mad at me, mommy? No, Evie, I I'm not mad. Wait, what did you call me? I don't want to live at the lab anymore. I want a house, and I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie, I'll be your mommy. <laughs> Just come Evie. back with me. Evie, wait. Did you find her? Ahoy, ahoy. Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <coughs> are you okay? Nope. You just worry about getting up my back. Okay, so let's check the... Okay, 
Nice. Oh, f fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. But I do still have the one remote bomb, so... Use the corrosive. Go in, we'll lock the doors. Herb, excellent. Corrosive, a couple of remote bombs, that's excellent. You know, as long as I can just get the fuck out of this, out of like the ship's bowels, I think everything might be okay. I'm gonna close that door so that I don't get trapped like I did last time. Okay, that's one down. Okay, we'll bait it into jumping again. And we'll just leg it, and I think there's gonna be the... Okay, great. Evie, you are the devil's fucking own child. It's not responding. Is that because I need to kill this one motherfucker? Right, fuck you. Fuck. You. Oh, no, I was hitting the fucking wrong floor, weren't I? Yeah, of course I was. Well, you know, at least we've made further. Emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged. Oh, has it just? Fucking absolutely fucking wonderful. That is... Evie's upstairs. Alan? Alan, where the hell are you? No, I didn't think there'd be anything useful there. Anything useful, maybe? No, it doesn't seem to be. Fuck. Um, strictly from a madhouse perspective, I would say that with the molded, um, it's better to have them upright, maybe, for the purposes of Because the jump is considerably... Okay, you can, you can just fuck off. Okay, well... You have fun with that, door. And, uh...
please be some kind of a fucking healing item? Oh, it's more remote bombs. Of course it is. What up, Alan? How did you get here? Where's Evie? <coughs> she's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Alan, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie, trying to take mean, control. You have to fight her. <laughs> Time to shoot that uplifting little video. Yep, yep, you have recognized the computer. Mm. You have touched the computer for some reason. All around. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have... All I can say is that if you I think this, the eyes are really well done, but the mouths kind of don't away. sync up and like that. Forget that you ever I don't know. knew me. Have a good life. Raspberry Jam! We'll be together forever. Cool. That was a weird little fucking. Um, like, the, the the critique that I have about this whole ship thing is that it actually, like, it makes sense. However, it does, a little bit uncomfortably, maybe tie this back into Resident Evil, because... 
you know, Resident Evil 5, which wasn't a very good game, had the, the whole big boss fight in a ship thing. And that, that's kind of more ship aesthetic. Then we've got Resident Evil Revelations. I haven't played Revelations 2, um, although I've been meaning to. It's kind of one of those things that, you know, there's like things I'd rather do as well. Now do you remember? But Revelations yes, 1 had um, Can we be a family like before? Had no, very much a a famous. ship thing going on as well. We never a family. I don't know. We will never be Weird a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> okay, fuck you, child. And secondly, you know, why why is that sudden laughing child thing supposed to be scary? Like that's something that I don't actually genuinely understand. Wrecked ship. There we go. Hmm. Right, so let us make a first aid thingy and then yeah, okay. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of something. Schnoz. Oh no, the contents have been taken. And oh. How jolly. Chem fluid, that's good. Laptop, it's broken, that's bad. Just leave the flashlight on. Just serious, just leave it on. There's no reason not to have it on like at all times in a ship like this. Especially since it doesn't seem to. And for that we need the Log Wrench. We're off to see the wizard. The Wizard of Sparking Lights. Mm. Long sequences of climbing up um, ladders always remind me of um, Metal Gear Solid 3. Specifically the um, climbing up into works. the mountain after the boss fight with the end. Or um, the boss fight with just Spetsnaz if you've gone the route yeah. of killing the end um, prematurely back in the swamp. In okay, bottom level. Which, it's cool that you're able to do that. Oh my god! Hello, little child! Oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? I'm kind of wondering if I should just pop the stimulants. I mean, why not? At this point. Unless this is literally a situation where there's no new gear anywhere, which is... It's entirely possible, to be, to be honest. Machine gun ammo... The locked... Draw that requires the captain's key. Ah, a little bit more of, of the herb. A Mr. Everywhere doll. An antique coin. 
which I think replaces um, a remote bomb in this, so... Let's make a little bit more of the healing thing. <clears throat> oh, there's one wandering about there. Cool. Oh, that's a big fat one. Well, wasn't the knife supposed to be around here? Oh, that's another big fat one. Sixteen years since the nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still being weirdos. But that means, of course, that this is in fact... Um, So that means that the, the Raccoon City incident has already taken place, which is... ...kind of interesting when you then take into account the... Um, ...the events at the closing of this game. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Lizard of Oz. Okay, so we've arrived here. Uh, right, so... So, this needs to be upright. That needs to have the thing up there. And that one needs to be... Come, so... And here we find corrosive, which is useful. Right, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We're off to see the lizard, the wonderful lizard of Oz. Ooh, antique coin. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh. Ooh, strong first aid med. Ooh, a load of fucking cassette tapes. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Um, anything wondrous here? Well, there's the Albert, which just has the one round, but fucking... Or, or just has the, the couple of rounds, but I'm not fucking gonna argue with that and we'll do a save here see we're making tremendous progress which is good because I, I seriously contemplating giving up on this fucking thing can I put that away no, I can't put that thing away yeah 
but I can put these away. Because those are not very useful to me. You know, regarding the antique coins, you'll have to speak to my husband, Ethan. He handles the, the, the money. And we skirt in there. We go here. We close the door. Captain's cabin locker key. Oh, nothing there. Hello. We're off to see the wizard. Right, so, two locations we need to go to. Um, well, we need to get the fuse and we need to get a um, replacement for the... And now we just... Fuck you! Absolutely fucking fuck you! And now we just go to here to get the machine and pistol. I would. Love to be in possession of a knife right now. Right, but I feel a lot better now with the, you know, having the the bison. And down we go. So I th think. Was it the medical wing that was on this floor? There we go. Okay, it's just that one glue ping us on a stomp all over it. So, yeah, we'll maintain short controlled bursts. Can't go there. Cool. Okay, so this is where we find the handgun, which is actually kind of nifty. And we'll go in... Check this place out. I haven't got a knife... ...yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Trigger Fatso, who's gonna... Oh fuck, he's gonna target the... Ow! Hey Fatty Bom Bom! Hey Fatty Bom Bom! Ow! 
Ow! Fuck you! I'm cool. I'm cool. Uncool! Bro, that's that's so like that's so uncool, it's not even a little bit cool. Okay, fucking hell. And I am out of fucking healing items once again. So... Ah, oh, you can go. Fuck yourself. Absolute little fucking shit cunt. You can't fucking do that. Okay, but I've now got the power cable and I've got enough pistol rounds to stagger the enemy. There we go. You, you can clearly tell that this is made for a fucking D-pad as well, but I don't know. Like, for some reason I can't really bring myself to be upset about things like that because this is like this runs really nicely and the controls are really good um, especially when you consider that this is a, a Resident Evil game on the PC which isn't like that's not something that's usually done that well you know I mean the Resident Evil series of games are like they're tremendous fun and many of them are like, you know, for example, Resident Evil 4, which is my absolute favourite of these because it's not really like an unpopular opinion and probably don't have to even explain myself on that. But, you know, it, it, it's still like, it's very rough to play on, um, on the PC because it, it's not, you know, the controls aren't best suited for that. It was originally made to be um, originally made to be a, a fucking GameCube exclusive but then it was released on, on fucking PS2 and, and stuff so I don't know. I played it first on, on PS2. Um, however um, I am going to actually end this here even though we are a little bit short with just over half an hour because um, We've actually gotten quite a lot of stuff done, and it's actually been quite intense. Not to mention that I'm actually still quite phlegmy, um, and still secreting a lot of lot of phlegm. It's just you know coughs getting ex uh, you know irritated and stuff like that. So for now, thank you for joining me, and I'm so glad we made it actually past the point, and you know. We're a little bit further in, so for now, goodbye.